Hi guys, what's up? I'm Michael from VSR and this is supposed to be the first episode of a series of hints for working with VSR tools in Rhino. The topic of this clip will be why trying to avoid the Rhino trim function if possible, how to do that and what to do if you can't. Having a look at this surface and this curve, you can see it is simple, clean geometry, single span and a low number of control points. I will explain in another video why it is important to have such kind of geometry and why you should try to keep it like that. So when I mirror the surface and then use these two surfaces as input for a tangential VSR surface blend, you can see the result has the same low number of control points and I got perfect transitions between the surfaces. If I now trim this simple surface by the simple curve, Rhino is re-approximating the new surface edge, creating a high complex result with a lot of spans and control points. When trying to work with this kind of edges, I run into trouble. For example, a perfect positional matching to this edge is not possible by default. Even when allowing a raise of degree of the surface to match, the result is not perfect, but the surface becomes complicated too. Mirroring this surface and using two such edges as input for surface blend, you can see that the same happens there. You get a highly complex result surface with only fair connections to the input surfaces. So your strategy should be to avoid trimmed edges as long as possible. How to achieve that? If the trimming geometry connects two opposite edges of the surface to trim, you can use the VSR split function to get two single span result surfaces with a very low deviation to the original surface. If wanted, the original surface can be kept by using the keep option. Ok, let's undo this again. Another possibility is to use the VSR control point modeling with the option extrapolate first to get the edge close to where it should be. You can then use the surface matching function to get the exact wanted position for your edge. If the matching should not be perfect, you can use the adopt option to respect the control point distribution of the reference. This often leads to a better matching result without the need to raise the degree of the surface you want to match. Ok, but what to do if you simply can't avoid to have a trimmed surface edge as input? So, let's trim the surface again to get a complex surface edge. For such cases, Visa Shape Modeling offers the function Edge Reapproximation, which you can access by clicking with the right mouse button on the surface approximation icon. When selecting the edge, its structure, like degree and number of spans, is displayed in the lower part of the function window. You can now define different values for that edge. You will usually allow a higher degree, but try to keep the result single span. You can also define an allowed deviation. Until this deviation is not reached, the function will raise the degree and add spans, but it will never exceed the allowed values defined above, though. You might need to play around with these values and also the discretization type used for the approximation till you get an acceptable result. If I mirror the surface with the reapproximated edge again and use these edges as input for the VSR blend, the result is single span now with a reasonable transition quality. You can download a test version of shape modeling in the download section of our homepage www.virtualshape.com. Thank you for watching.